What's up, good people? This is Chris Crazy House, and I am back again for another Chris Crazy Convo. On this episode, I'm going to be doing a little bit of ranting, a little bit of raving about Adobe and their creative suites and how they like to do their little automatic updates without people's permission. And that is the reason why we did not have this crazy convo last weekend. But we're going to get it done, and we're going to have some fun. I'm also going to be talking about the new Batwoman that is going to be on the CW, how they've replaced the character. Got a sister in there, even got her a nice little natural wig for her Batwoman outfit. And while I'm talking about all that, I'm going to be doing a live drawing of a BBW vampire. I'm going to draw it, uh, do a little quick ink, and then I'm going to color it in with some colored markers. Going to have some fun tonight, guys, so I hope you enjoy so without further ado, without further delay, let's go ahead and hit that intro music and get started. Yes, we are here for that Chris Crazy Convo. And like I said, we're going to be doing a live drawing of a BBW vampire. She is thick. She is sassy. She is chocolatey. All that good stuff. I want to do something a little bit different. Last year, I drew, drew a picture of a voluptuous and curvy vampire. And I wanted to take it an extra step. Go ahead and make her BBW. Why not? I like doing different types of body types when I do my artwork. I like having fun with that, so I figure why not. So that is what we're going to be drawing today. I hope you guys will stick around and have some fun with that. As always, the Chris Crazy Convo, as well as a lot of other content on my YouTube channel, is now sponsored by my naturally cute coloring books. Yes, those are my big money maker these days, and it helps me to have the time to produce this type of content on YouTube. So if you are so inclined, head over to my Amazon store at Amazon.com slash author slash Chris Crazy House, and you will find all three volumes of my Naturally Cute coloring books. The latest one is Naturally Cute Fantasy. Got a lot of cute little fantasy girls with natural hair in different fantasy and fun settings. We got black women as mermaids, as princesses in the cyberpunk world, in the steampunk world. We got some black female superheroes and some black female space rangers. All that. And the book is all that. People have been sending me some reviews and telling me how much they like it. I've been seeing some people do some colorings of their of the characters on their own and their copies of the book and I've really enjoyed seeing that. It does my heart good. Holiday season is coming up. This is definitely the perfect present to get for your loved one. If you're a person that just loves to color or you got a little girl and you want to inspire her with some characters and some fun female figures that look just like her, go ahead and pick up one of these coloring books, man. I know you guys will enjoy it. And I know you ladies will enjoy it. Also, thank you to the people who have purchased my naturally cute pumpkin witch t-shirt and hoodies and long sleeve shirts. I, I really do appreciate that. I, I knew you guys would like that. And I knew the ladies would like it a lot for the fall time. It's only going to be for a limited time. I think after November. That is when I will close down that promotion and we'll probably have something else going on for December. But get them while they're hot. Get them while you can for this October and this November. The Pumpkin Witch 
t-shirt design. You get it on t-shirts, you get it on v-necks, you got it on, on hoodies, and like I said, long sleeve t-shirts for the fall time. I know you guys will like that, so go ahead and pick up one of those. A thank you to the people who have, who have bought some so far. I, I really do appreciate that. Even that that money in that Teespring store, that helps out a lot. Not a full sponsor yet because I'm not making a lot of money off of it, but it's enough. And anything that I get, I'm always appreciative of. So let's hop out here and get, on, get started on this BBW Vampire, shall we? So here we are, folks. Once again, sped up, not in real time, but you still get the gist of what's going on here using just basic mechanical pencils to kind of put in the basic shape of the body type that I want. Like I said, she's going to be big and beautiful. Big mohawk as well. So just kind of pencil that in here and kind of get the pose I want with her one hand on the hip and one hand up in a very sassy pose here. So that's what I wanted to kind of put into this and, you know, just kind of make sure I get the basics of her body type and her face and her outfit that she's wearing. Keeping it very simple as far as the outfit goes, just kind of like a, some spikes on the shoulders and maybe just like a little bat bustress here just to kind of keep up her ample uh, breasts that are going on here in her, her dress. So, you know, what I want to talk about, folks, in this while I'm doing this drawing and while you guys are watching me put in the work here on this magnificent art piece here is just the nonsense I'll go through with Adobe and then I've gone through with them over the years of using their products and I really do hope their people hear this because I, I did send them a semi angry letter I was respectful I didn't use any profanity but I was very upset with them for what happened last week. Like I said, this particular Chris Crazy convo was supposed to be out last Saturday. It didn't get done because of the nonsense that these fools put me through for two days. And so, uh, like a lot of parents out there, I am doing some virtual learning with my daughter. So I kind of help out as the assistant, sitting next to her, making sure she doesn't put anything or show anything ridiculous on her side of the, the virtual screen, making sure she pays attention to everything. But uh, I did that during the daytime, and just that morning I had been working in Adobe Animate, working on some things for the future for my website and for this channel as well. And everything was working out fine. No problems whatsoever, just your average day. Come back later on in the afternoon, I turn on my computer, and I kind of wanted to go and said, let me go ahead and get some of those custom thumbnails that I'm known for, for my projects. Go ahead and get that done. Try to do that, and it sure as hell did not work. Adobe's product just stopped working all of a sudden. Uh, while I'm talking, you guys can see that I've started the coloring part here. I'm going ahead and putting in some dark colors, some dark mocha. Now, you always, when you do your markers, you always want to start with the darks first and then kind of move on. So I put on my Adobe Animate and it wouldn't come on. Come to find out they've automatically updated it. I did not tell them to do so. I did not go to automatic updates or, or want them to update it. They updated it to their new version of Adobe Animate, Adobe Animate 2021, I think. And of course, it doesn't. that does not work. It, it just won't turn on. Every time it tries to turn on, the whole program just shuts down. So I try to uninstall it and reinstall it and see if that will work using their Adobe Creative Suite. Their little, uh, was it the Creative Cloud that they have everything on nowadays? I tried that. Still didn't work. I, I reinstalled it two times and it still didn't work. So I just, I sent them an angry letter saying, hey, this your product is not working. I have things to do to actually use your product for. I have things that I want to work on. And this doggone thing is not working. I, I was heated heated so uh sent them the letter and the only advice i got back first was from a person who was like myself who's been using the product animate which used to be macromedia flash before adobe bought it we've been using macromedia flash since the 90s 
And I remember start starting out using Macromedia Flash back when it was Flash 4. So I'm an old user of the product, but then Adobe bought it and they've been tampering with it ever since, even to the point where it even makes no sense. So they've tampered with it this time and it doesn't even really work. And I, I use a Mac system. I don't have a PC, or at least not for, for, for doing artwork anyway. So uh, the guy told me just go ahead and reinstall the older version and don't and just turn off your automatic updates because I've had the same issues. So I did that and it works fine. So I'm, I'm back using the, the version I was using that morning before they decided to change it on their own. So basically I just wanted to say to Adobe, man, we are not your beta testers. If you, if you know something doesn't work, don't be putting it out there because I got an email from the actual Adobe company and they said yeah we've been having some trouble with this new version I was like well why in the hell did you put it out there then you're having trouble with it and you know people are, are complaining about it don't put it out there I know you, you usually have beta testers to test these things but don't test it out on me I have things to do I have projects to do I have books and illustrations that I do for books and animations and everything else I do for websites I get paid doing this so don't interrupt me with your nonsense I wasted two whole days trying to figure out how to get this doggone thing to work I just wind up going back to the older version and turning off my automatic updates and they, they want to be so newfangled and have everything on the cloud and everything is a subscription Back in the day, you could just go ahead and buy the program, and that was good enough for you. But now they can't even do that nowadays. They just Everything has to be on the, the cloud. Everything has to be subscription-based. Let's leave it alone and let us use the product the way we want to do it and not the way you want us to use it. So you see my little my little cute vampire girl here, man. She, uh, you work when you, when you work with markers, you work to the highlight. That's, that's the way I learned it. From a lot of artists out there, especially uh, Fernando Ruiz, who is uh, one of the, the the artists on the Archie comics. He has a YouTube channel here if you want to check him out. But he taught me a lot about using these types of art markers. You work from dark to the highlight. And for, for black skin, I like to do a cover all even after I do all this. Just kind of go over it with another color that I really like. And that kind of ties it all together because these colors do blend. And they do change a little bit after you've let them dry so just be aware of that so after they dry they come off looking a little bit different so sometimes you might even want to go back and maybe add a little bit more here and there I did add a warmer like a, a dulce de leche type color was which is a little bit more red to kind of add a little bit of warmth to this piece as well so that you might want to do something like that it all it's all give and take it's all a learning curve when you use these types of markers so go ahead and try them out and experiment before you use them just know that sometimes the original color you put down isn't what you're always going to get so let's go on to an ad here folks let's talk about that I got a little ad here and what the ad is for is my live talk that I'm going to be doing on Halloween day probably going to be sometime in the afternoon either between 2 and 4 where I go over my classic horror animations and I'll be doing a live commentary throughout those horror animations letting you know my process and how I came up with them and you know what was going on around the time when I was making these the year I made them just have a fun time talking about that and if you have any questions please go ahead and jump into the live chat and we can talk about animation horror movies whatever you want to talk about and that's going to be on Halloween day this Saturday afternoon I want to do it in the afternoon I can't do it at night because I got some plans on for Halloween night but Halloween during the daytime in the afternoon I got time we'll have some fun so show up and show out and maybe even let me know what you're going to dress up as for that Halloween so once again Halloween horror animation live talk Saturday on Halloween afternoon that's what we're going to be doing on this channel so join me if you can so back to the live drawing we're going to skip back to her my BBW girl I'm going to be drawing her actual out or coloring in her outfit at this point and while I'm doing that I'm going to be talking about another outfit and that is the outfit of that new Batgirl we got going out here on the CW so let's get back to it so we're back at it again folks and we're going to put in some dark reds here and some dark earth browns for her hair and 
So we always start off with the darks and work with the lights, or work to the lights and the highlights. So we're going to do her hair in kind of a reddish color, which is highly appropriate. Did not plan it this way, but that's what we got here when we're talking about this new Batwoman, a black woman with also red hair. And I believe the the actress's name that they got here, what's her name? Her name is Javicia Leslie. I think that's how you pronounce her, her name. So she's replacing Ruby Rose as Batwoman on the CW. And, you know, there's a big controversy. I even did a video about it when it, for the story first broke that Ruby Rose was leaving the role of Bat Batwoman. I think her character was named uh, Cassandra Cain, if I'm not mistaken. But she has some issues with the producers and everyone else and decided to just get out while the getting was good because the show was not doing well. And they did a search looking for her replacement and they found a, a black woman. I, I guess she's LGBT because they said that the character has to be LGBT for some reason. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I guess you can't act gay. You have to actually be gay to play a gay person on TV. I guess that's how it works. But anyway, she's going to be playing a character named Ryan Wilder. So instead of getting a, another person to play Cassandra Kane, they actually are having a whole new Batwoman character, having a whole new character play Batwoman in the show. So, I mean, as far as my opinion goes on it, I don't know because, like I said, I haven't seen it yet. So I can't really make any judgments. Her her new look doesn't look too bad, though, I must say. It actually looks a lot better than the original Batwoman they had on there. I don't know if I'm just biased because I like seeing black women with their natural hair, and I do draw a lot of black female superheroes with natural hair. Hint, hint, get naturally cute fantasy. <laughs> but, you know... It doesn't look too bad to me. Now, how it moves, how it looks in, in motion on camera, I don't know. I'm not sure if I watched the show. I was not a fan of the Batwoman show on the CW. I thought it was the worst show they produced in a long time. Not because it was a woman, not because it was LGBT, but because it was just a badly written show. I love the Batwoman character from the comic books. I thought she was a great character. It was very well written, very well drawn, but they really dropped the ball and creating it for the TV show, which the CW does a lot. I don't know what's up with Greg Berlanti, but like I said, he drops the ball a lot sometimes. You know, just whatever he wants to put on there is his agenda, so that's the way he goes. So so this is going to be our, our, our final vampire girl here, our final BBW vampire. And the only things you have not seen is I did go over her again a little bit with a few more inks like for her outlines and whatnot just to kind of tighten those up and I did do another coverall of paint for her her body so for the for the skin tones I went over her one more time with the skin tones and let it dry and it came out a lot better that way the the highlights don't look too blotchy it actually looks more like a natural highlight there going from dark to light so that's my BBW vampire she's cute She's plump, she's pretty, and as, as, as the, the Salt Bay would say, juicy, as you would say, right? Uh, but uh, I want to do something different for a female vampire, something you don't often see. This one will definitely suck you dry, so don't, don't mess with her either. You might think she's cute and all, but she'll suck you dry just as much as any other vampire, and she might even be a little extra hungry. <laughs> so who knows? Maybe she gets her fill. That's why she gained all the weight. Who knows, right? But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had fun with me and talking about these little pop culture things and my little Adobe rant. Thank you for entertaining that. And hopefully, you know, it doesn't happen again. And if you guys have any issues with Adobe and you want to make your voices known, go ahead and let them know. Don't let it just be me. Because I know when I posted it on my Facebook other people were complaining about it as well. So it's not just me out there. And it's not just uh, people who use Adobe Animate. There's other Adobe products that people have the same issues with. But they just automatically give you an update and the damn thing doesn't work the way it's supposed to. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, this uh, episode of the Chris Crazy Convo. I had a good time doing it. I had a good time drawing for you guys. And 
uh, also enjoy just sitting here chit-chatting with you as well as chit-chatting with you guys in the live down there in the live chat always love to see you guys here always appreciate you as well uh, it doesn't cost anything for you guys to go ahead and sub to the channel if you like this type of format some people were saying they really liked it so I'm going to keep on doing so until the wheels fall off and I hope you guys will come back and return and join me as we do this here I hope to get on a regular schedule with these and hopefully we won't miss any more as long as Adobe doesn't act up as long as Mac and their updates don't act up we should be fine so uh, once again subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you always get updated to know when the next time I'm going to be doing one of these and I'll keep you guys abreast of whatever projects I'm working on in the coming year there's gonna be a lot of new stuff coming up probably next summer but I'll be working on it throughout the fall and winter time and springtime so keep you guys abreast of that anyway guys this is Chris Crazy House signing out on this new episode of the Chris Crazy Convo. Peace out.